This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. So we're in a 2004 GMC Yukon and the HVAC system sometimes will mess up and you'll get a condition where you want heat but you're getting cold or you want cold or you're getting heat. Or you might hear this kind of sound. I don't know if the mic is picking that up, but it's kind of a clicking sound. It's coming from the little step motor that lives back behind the grill, back in this area. And it's uh, supposed to turn according to where you put these settings. But as the motor turns, it's supposed to stop, but it just keeps trying to turn. And it's an easy fix. You don't really have to get new parts. You can just reset a fuse. So let's go over how to do that. Before you do, before you do the reset, one thing you can do is put both of these controls all the way up. And to get that sound effect, by the way, I had, I had the ignition in the first setting. The engine wasn't on, but it was almost to that point. So we're gonna pop, take the key out, we're gonna pop the fuse through the hood release and go out to the front. If this video is helping you, please consider pressing down in the lower right-hand corner of your screen the subscribe button, and that really helps our channel. So we lift it up there on the release, bring the hood up. You have this fuse box over here, and just lift up on this one. And then you want to pull out one of these fuses. It's going to be this one right here. So you can see you've got a 25 amp and then a couple of 10s. But the first 10, that's the one you want to pull out. If you look on the top, you can see that that one, not the first 25 here, but the first 10 is HVAC slash ECAS. So you just want to pull that out for five minutes and then we'll put it back in. Um, if you have like needle nose pliers that will work best, but you could pry it out too. Okay, so we got that out. We're going to pull it out all the way. That's what it looks like. So there's nothing wrong with the fuse. This is just breaking the circuit and we're gonna do that for five minutes. And after five minutes, we'll put it back in. When we start the car, the computer should attempt to reset all the different step motors. There's a whole bunch of them in the car, but that usually gets rid of the clicking problem and usually gets rid of the problem with not getting cold when you wanna get cold and not getting heat when you wanna get heat kind of resets all the step motors back into their proper position, recalibrates them. So you give it five minutes, and then you're gonna put that back in, which returns power to that part of the system. Put the cap back on. It's gonna work on the GMC Yukon, the Chevy Tahoe, the GMC or Chevy uh, Silverado and the Escalade from Cadillac. Come back in. You're going to just turn the key to that same first position. So I'm going to go one, two, and then just give it about five minutes and you'll hear all the various step motors in the car are gonna reset, they're gonna recalibrate. And then you can turn it on and everything should work correctly. Sometimes these go out of whack and when you select something, it doesn't, doesn't work. During this time though, for five minutes, we don't wanna touch any of these controls. Just let them sit. And if you listen carefully, you'll hear step motors in this area, down here, and even behind you in the back that are all resetting. 
but it takes about five minutes for that to happen. And then after that, you can go ahead and just start up your car and then you can try your different things. Try your air conditioning, try your moving your different modes around, try heating, heating and cold, and you should have it. If it doesn't work though, it's okay. Just repeat the same process again. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries, but it's an easy way to cure the common HVAC problems that this type of car has. I'm not sure the exact years that involve this type of reset, but if you have this type of a HVAC control, where you have these sliding pieces, we know that that one fuse being pulled for five minutes and then giving five minutes for everything to reset will do the trick. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this all the way off. And I turn the car all the way on. <clears throat> and I just want to test some of these things to see if the controls are working correctly. So turn on the fan. That seems good. Turn on the uh, fan and then I'll try the cold. Turn on the air con. Move the mode selector. Yeah, so that's coming out the way it should. That's good. It's nice and cold. Let me do the heat. Turn up the heat. Yeah, I got hot there. I got hot there. So both these fields are working. Got hot there. I'm going to turn it, the engine off and see if that clicking has gone away. Yeah, before when I had these up, I was getting a click, 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 click coming out of that step motor, but that's gone because everything recalibrated. I got a feeling it'll probably come back as it has often before, after maybe a month, but it, again, it's easy to reset. So hopefully this has helped you and you get your HVAC back working. For watching our video and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance. And also click the little bell notification button so we can send you uh, weekly videos on all the different ways of fixing appliances around your home and saving you lots of money. So thanks again for watching and please also press the like button for our video if this was helpful to you. Thanks Feel free again. to contact me at the email listed below which is scottthefixitguy at yahoo.com with any of your questions. And also, if you need to have a uh, FaceTime meeting with me or a Zoom meeting, you can click on one of the links below in the description and we can set up a 15 minute or 30 minute video conference where we can work on your appliance problem. So thanks again for all your support and for watching the video.